Hi guys, welcome to another one. This is Marvel Future Fight, and I guess today I just wanted to talk about the the benefits when it comes to the X Men update and X Men faction choice that you had made, or if you didn't make it, I don't think you lost out on much. Eh? I honestly don't think I, you lost out on much. So I think it was two days ago I got onto the game and. It had said that the faction battle is over and my faction, which has which are the X-Men, had lost. So people that opted to or opted for the X-Men faction out there were clearly not doing enough. I know I was not doing enough because I was not playing the game that much and it does show. I don't know, I, I, I had gotten to a point where there is nothing interesting in the game that you can do anymore right now i'm actually working towards my jean gray i'm on 5269 so that will be very soon if i was playing the game consistently i think it would have been this week because i should have gone over 100 just with this week alone but we are also coming from the easter weekend so yes it was it was a bit hectic so when i got onto the game all you got if you did choose a faction is that your faction had lost but then they gave you an additional 40 bios for Colossus. So as much as that is a good thing for them to give you that 40 bios for Colossus. But then it begs the question because you cannot use, I don't think you can use a, a rank up a rank up ticket for him. I don't think you can use any of the bio selectors for him. So it has to be solely subscription that you do get to finally take him to six star and you do get to finally tier to him or whatever your choice might be even with the new reward that they gave in now with regards to character selection you can't use where's that ticket let me get to the ticket quickly this ticket over here you cannot select any of those characters so all the subscription characters you cannot select any of them because they are not on here for that ticket as well so i don't know did people lose out did people not lose out he's not a meta shifting character anyway it's not like he is another thanos so i don't think i don't think people lost out on much i also kind of regret just making that decision and testing out what happens when you do really choose a side so you guys will notice that they are not available none of those characters or those bio selection characters are available not even angel is available and emma frost obviously is not there as well so you cannot choose any of those characters with this ticket as well go figure so yes i don't think guys really lost out on much because even with regards to the activities themselves i was not really doing much per se when it comes to the activity so i did not get any of the daily bios or any of the regular consistent bios that you would normally get if you were playing the game consistently so yes guys as you can see you guys saw that list so you can't use even the six star selector character selector that they give you to get uh what's his face to get colossus or magic or any of them so no i don't think i don't think you you lost out that much and we are about to check out what you do essentially get from the event shop even so i don't know for me i had like i said i've not been playing the game so i was not concentrating on the event uh on the event on the event shop or the event option so what I do normally in the game, I get in and I make sure that I do my alliance battle. Yesterday I was doing my alliance, I think, conquest with my alliance. And we conquered a lot of territories actually. So that's one thing that I was doing yesterday. Okay, so the game seems to be frozen right now. I know it's not on, net, it's not, it's on my network because I'm on Wi-Fi. So I am wondering what is going on. Wow, it is that slow. So i don't know what's happening there i'm just trying to acquire my eight bio so that i get it over and done with but then it's not letting me even do that and we have how many boxes from the event shop to open up wow okay so yes that that was it for the for the faction battle guys it is over 
are we going to get another faction battle it, it better be realistic because that whole uh, x-men versus inhumans thing was not realistic you know what i mean that that was not the war in the comic books but anyway so here we go the chest that i was talking about was the april fools uh event so so far i'm getting i mean i have better iso eight sets in my in my in my inventory so hmm, is the event even oh no three star rank up don't tell me they give out okay if they give out rank up tickets it might come in handy for my x23 and for my shuri so uh, do i regret it no i don't think i regret it guys like like i said we didn't even get a, a single gaming mode something new to play around with or something new to explore so no i don't regret it it has become mundane for me honestly it has become monotonous because we know with updates even now with the x-men update we thought something different would come out but then even with the updates all you get is more subscription characters and a few characters that you can actually acquire but those characters are more often than not not very strong or not very advisable characters so either way it's a win for net marble but it's a loss for all the players so that is the reason why i have not really been interested in 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 the game as of late so i didn't even get a five star iso 8 uh got a four star mastery i got two three star mastery tickets so i don't know guys i you, you you guys can decide for yourself is it worth it i don't know it for me it, it it honestly is not because the items that they give out are items that you can otherwise get under normal circumstances or if you are just playing the games normally without needing to do any event or an april fool's event like i don't know i don't get it or maybe this was intentional for the rewards to be this way because it was april fool's after all you never know so yes i have one day for my selector i, I don't honestly know who i am going to choose guys I'm, I'm i'm still on the fence when it comes to that so let us see how many bios i have so far for my colossus have i recruited him yes i think i have recruited him already so let us see how many bios okay no i do not want to check out jessica jones thank you Should have and i must have recruited him that much i know yes so i have 120 bios for colossus and i was not playing it so it's, i i guess i guess it is not so bad it is not too bad i guess but then yes obviously you could have done a lot better if you were more consistent when it comes to the game itself and the event quests are not really they're, they're not really i don't know spectacular something that you need to go out of your normal routine to complete it's just activities that you do normally so for example story mission clear times 10 you already have uh, three activities in the bag the gale way one gale way number two gale way number three you already have that in the bag with clearing the story mission times 10 and then clearing the dimension drift times 10 you got three more so you have six with just two events and special mission obviously tracking rogue tracking rogue timeline battle so these are things that you would normally do under normal circumstances okay that's my sister there she added a video so yeah man that's 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 the game so far that is marvel future fight so far I, I, it's not that i'm discouraged to play the game i am still playing the game i still have it on my device but then what i'm saying is i am not as intrigued as i was before because there is literally nothing new in the game and all you do in the game is it all all that you are going to do essentially is just hoard materials for the next update i think people are looking forward to i don't even think people are looking forward to the deadpool update the deadpool update i think is still going to be short changed but i think the one that might make a major difference that might come with a completely new gaming mode as well 
could essentially be the Infinity War update. Doctor Strange didn't get an event, but he got an epic quest, right? Thor Ragnarok got a uh, what, what do they call it? Legendary battle, cinematic battle, sorry. And then, who else got a cinematic battle? Black Panther got a cinematic battle. So, Spider-Man Homecoming, not so much. So, that's why I'm not really relying on Deadpool. So, Infinity War is an Avengers movie. So, Infinity War should essentially and definitely get a gaming mode or cinematic mode. I hope it is not all fluff. I hope it is something that we can really sink our teeth into. And let us hope for, for better things. Like there is so much potential for the game, guys. Do not do not underplay that at any point. I am not disputing that there is so much potential. There is so much direction that the game could go into. That is still something that Net Marvel can work on. But as things stand right now and with their consistent disappointing updates i don't know i don't know i'm i i i'm honestly not really sure i i do not want to put my hopes up so i guess that's why i'm finding comfort in in playing other other games on other platforms you know what i mean because they are just so much more exciting regular updates there there are normal interactions with normal players so i guess maybe hey that 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 could be that could be the reason but so far with regards to net marvel future fight mm, i don't know guys so with just those two events remember and i think what one other thing that we would have to then do okay i never really waste my time with this because at the moment i'm only looking for archangel bio so i will just use the that normal selector or not the normal say the auto search just to check out or get his uh dimension drift so let us just clear this so story mission special mission and dimension drift you should essentially have what you are looking for okay what happened there let us just finish all of these oh and tracking rogue i forgot about tracking rogue i haven't been acquiring my alliance points as well let's see how much we get 780 not bad at all so I just want to do uh, Tracking Rogue. I don't think I will be doing Timeline Battle, but I just want to show you guys. It, it, it does not really take up that much time or that much effort, especially if you've played the game and you're just clearing most of these missions or most of these activities. It does not take that much time. I just, okay, maybe before I finish off my energy on Dimension Drift, I should maybe hop on over to the x-men epic quest and then just so that you guys can see it it, it it does not really take that much guys from you or from your time so the one that they're concentrating on is clearing going rogue so i'm just going to do 10 of these yes i know i have the max macron shard get me the bios already okay and there we go and remember as you're completing these quests as well your normal daily quests i think if there's an activity that is similar to this one here then it should also essentially link up so yeah guys there you have it so i think the ones that are left now are from the timeline battle so it doesn't it doesn't really take up that much time to complete every day the only reason i have not been doing it every day is because i haven't been playing the game every day so let us take these last few and see what we are going to come up with i think i was intrigued by that three star rank up ticket but then i thought that you would get higher levels other than just the three star rank up ticket but that did not materialize so let us see what more goodies we get from the april fool's chest okay 
mm, experience ships experience ships are not really should not really sway any of your decision when it comes to the game because you can get experience anywhere if you farm for it by just auto playing normal missions so it is again that three star rank up ticket which is going to become useless very soon when none of my characters are on one star i think i'm now starting to understand the frustration that other players would have when it comes to these rewards and their three star tickets and their one star tickets whereas if you have been playing the game for a long time you do not essentially need that sort of material so yeah guys that was it that was the april fools event and those rewards it is still on i think it expires let us be sure let us talk about facts so it is it, it expires or the time ends in five days and nine hours so it's still on you guys can still uh rack up those 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 chests and then see what happens but yes that's the april fools event quest so yeah man there you go i think for me um I don't know, I'm not, I'm not mad at Netmarvel, but I'm just looking for a new gaming mode, you know what I mean? Like I said, for most of us that grew up on these comic books, you will still continue playing the uh, playing this game, sorry, and all other Marvel, uh, universe, Marvel comic universe-based games and applications. You will still use them, you will still come to them, you will still visit them, no matter what happens. But what I'm saying is, I don't know, I'm just waiting for something a lot more interesting to come in. What I was looking, what I had looked forward to was the Black Panther update, but the uniform was just preposterous. So now, I'm not even going to look at Deadpool. So the only thing that we can look forward to now would be the Infinity War update. That is why I think I'm working on my Black Order right now. My Black Dwarf is is okay for now and i should be working on the others as time goes on but guys for the video that is it until next time